This is Alim from Javelin. When you import models created in other CAD systems, you might get topological errors just because there might be translation errors. Because of that, I'm going to create a video series showing how to heal these uh, errors. This model has been uh, posted on the SOLIDWORKS forum by Mukesh Prasad. Thank you, Mukesh. Notice that he most likely was expecting to get a solid but if you're looking in the feature tree, what he got was a surface body. And I can see that because this feature shows uh, a surface icon. And also, there is no body in the solid bodies folder, but there is a surface body in the surface bodies folder. If I'm doing a section through the middle of the part, you're going to see there is no material on the inside of this part. And by the way, this option uh, works very well in SOLIDWORKS 2014 because the section view has the graphics only section option. Um, if you turn it off, which would be the equivalent of uh, SOLIDWORKS 2013 and older for the behavior, you're going to find out that it doesn't want to section the part because there are invalid bodies inside that part. There are two tools that allow you to troubleshoot a problem like this. The first one is the check tool that can be found either under the evaluate toolbar or under the tools menu. So when you run the check tools, SOLIDWORKS is going to give you a list of problems. For example, looks like I have an open surface and it shows you where the gaps are. And there are four faces that are inconsistent, meaning they have topological errors. That being said, this tool does not provide healing um, options. The other tool that pretty much everybody is using is the import diagnostics. One word of caution here. Be aware that this option is available only if you do not add anything to this model. So if you want to add a feature, anything like an extrude boss or an extrude cut, you're going to find out that this option disappears from the menu. So do not go forward and build anything on the part until you fix the errors. Let's start the import diagnostics. In 99% of the cases, you can pretty much ignore all the errors and just ask SOLIDWORKS to heal all of them. And as I said, in 99 of the cases, that would work. For specific cases like this, you will have to do a little bit of manual troubleshooting, meaning that you will analyze each and every one of the faces that are reported as being faulty one at a time and uh, try to figure out what's going on here. The moment you hover over one of these faces, notice there is a caption uh, describing the error. And that caption disappears after a while, so what you might want to do is actually right-click on that specific face and select the what's wrong option. So it tells me that this face pierces through the solid. And uh, you have a valid question right now. What solid are you talking about? There is no solid here. Actually what's happening is this face pierces through another face. So it doesn't have common edges with another face that either touches it or actually goes through it, which obviously would invalidate this uh, model as a solid. Just by looking at the first face that I selected, it looks like a pretty valid face. Maybe there is nothing wrong with it, but there is another face that touches it or pierces through it. And because of that, um, you cannot... Uh, consider this a topologically correct face. Let's select the second face. And the second one, I cannot really see it. it. looks like it's somewhere on the inside. If I select the third face, it's somewhere on the, on the back of this, and I can actually go to it by going zoom to selection. And SOLIDWORKS will reorient the model in such a way that you can see that face. And again, this looks like a valid face to me. Maybe again, it's intersecting another face that should not be there. Let's see what's wrong with phase number four. So again, let's find out where it is. Zoom to selection. And looks like it's this uh, rectangular face on, on the side. What's wrong with you? It says it's a general geometry problem, which can mean a lot of things. So instead of uh, figuring out what's going on here, I'm just going to fix it. Notice that this is not really connected to the other one, so I can actually repair it on its own. Just gonna exit 
for a moment because I want to see what's going on with these three faces. Remember that uh, the error is that they are piercing other faces. And I'm going to do another section through the middle of the part. Let's try to go closer to the middle using that graphics only section option that's available in SOLIDWORKS 2014. And what you're going to find out here is that there is a very suspect face in going through the middle of the part. And also it does not have common edges with the other faces, which will pretty much invalidate this model as the solid. Actually, if you remember the Euler's law, uh, every edge that belongs to a solid model has to have exactly two faces that are adjacent to it. So for example, this edge has this face and this face. While over here, I have a face that, that has edges that belong only to itself without really intersecting uh, or actually being part of, uh, of the other faces. Notice here, it looks like I have two completely different edges going on. So this is what I believe is wrong with the part. This face should not be there. So let's run again the import diagnostics and select the face that, as I said, should not be there and just delete it. Notice the moment you do that, you get a green uh, light here and the other two faces become valid. Also, this uh, body becomes a solid body. You can see here from the icon on the feature, you can see here uh, on the solid bodies folder, the fact that I have an item, there is no surface body. And also inside the section view, you can see that I have material on the inside. So this video is the first of a series that's uh, just going to deal with fixing imported geometry. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.